Hey guys, it's Marella. So today I'm going to show you how to do this adorable, very popular, sleek model ponytail. Kind of like Bella Hadid or Kylie Jenner. I mean, other people wear it too. It's so popular right now. But those were just the first two that came to mind. But this is also totally a classic look. It reminds me of I Dream of Jeannie. <laughs> so the style is sleek and honestly appropriate for any like dressy occasion and very flattering. Definitely gives you that like model vibe. And I feel like it's a really good look to wear with any outfit or any look. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Anything that you guys are going to need for this tutorial I linked below so you can be prepared and follow along with me. All right guys, so if you're ready to see how I got this, then let's get started. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is part your hair on one side and you kinda wanna go far over like to about the arch of your eyebrow. And you can also do this with a rat tail comb. It doesn't have to be just your finger like I did. If you want the line to be really perfect. Hmm, that didn't seem to make my line any more perfect. Now you wanna choose how thick to have your bang piece. If you have pretty thick hair, you can make it a thicker piece. And kind of the same idea, if you want this line here of your bangs to be nice and straight, then you can just take a rat tail comb and pull it through the hair. Keep in mind that this whole piece is going to be pinned back so you won't really be seeing the part. It's going to be like flat on your head. For this part here, I'm just going to put a little hair tie on it because I don't want that part to go back in with the rest of my hair. So if you're like me and you have really thick hair, you've probably done the thing before where you've taken a brush or even like a normal comb and you've brushed up your hair like this and your hair has like a million lines in it and doesn't look nice. And no matter how tight or high you try to put the ponytail, something doesn't come out right. My secret weapon solution to that problem is a boar bristle brush. It can be synthetic boar bristles, just something that isn't like a paddle brush. You need something that has a lot of dense fibers that's really compact and it's going to smooth the hair a lot. So I'm gonna start on this side. You need the ponytail to be like smooth and snatched all around and you're probably gonna need to brush each section a few times but i'm just gonna start in the front you guys can see what i'm doing and i know that we all know this but don't judge my regrowth because it's still quarantine so then i'm going to start taking it from the top and this side because this part is also all going to be smooth and then i'm going to start pulling it up a little more and just keep brushing it because the ponytail is supposed to sit kind of like right on top of your head. And I will say that this ponytail works better when your hair isn't perfectly clean, like I washed my hair yesterday instead of today, so that it has just a tiny bit more oil to keep the hairs like smooth and sleek. And if that's not your thing and you're like, I have to wash my hair every day, it'll still work, don't worry. This is just a little better. So now I'm going to start pulling up sections of my hair and brushing because like I said, my hair is super thick. And if I just try to do it all at once, it won't stay. Like my hair will not cooperate if I just try to smooth it all up together. So I'll take another small section. And like I said, you might have to like go around your head a few times and redo the same pieces. And when I get to the back, I'm actually going to like flip my ponytail over. The reason why I don't flip my entire head over and do it upside down is because if I do that, I'll have a giant bubble. If you have super thick, dense hair, you know what I mean. It's just like, it doesn't cooperate very well. So you kind of have to Take it slow. That is when I'm going to take my first hair tie. And you can see this is like an extra thick one. It's really going to hold that nice and tight. So I'm going to wrap it around my ponytail three times. That's pretty much the max for my hair. Please don't snap, please don't snap. And I'm not going to overlap any of the twists. So I'll show you what I mean by that. You can see that I twisted it one, two, three times. And with each twist, I was sure to make it a little taller so I didn't stack the twists on top of each other. So now I can take this piece out. Now I'm gonna take a skinny hair tie, just kind of like the normal ones. And I'm just gonna make sure that everything's smoothed out again. I'll take my smoothing cream. The one that I'm using is the Supernova Blonde by Amika because my hair is blonde and also in desperate need of a tone. So this is gonna kind of like, it's purple, so it's gonna kind of help any of those blonde pieces look a little better, even though my, my whole ponytail is basically brunette. You get the idea. I also just really like this smoothing cream. I think it works really well. And I'll take it and I'll put it in the back part of my head like this. And once I'm sure that it's smoothed all around like that, then I'll take the second hair tie and I'm going to put it underneath this one. So I'm kind of making the ponytail tighter on my head. And like I said before, when I did the three rounds, I didn't overlap them. So there's three more layers. 
So now you have like a pretty big stack of hair. Now your bobby pins are gonna come into play. You can either use like plain black or ones that match your hair, blonde, brown, whatever. Or you can use cute metallic. You can probably get these on Amazon. I'll link some below for you guys. Um, I think I got mine at Kitsch, but if you want like fancy, cute bobby pins, if you want them to show, you know, totally up to you. I'm gonna use the black first and I'll just use the metallic ones to be decorative. But I'm going to take this piece of hair and make sure I'm smooth it nice to my head and I'm going to pin it in the back going in both directions. So the first pin I'm going to cross it this way and then the second pin I'm going to cross it downward over the first one. And because this strip of hair doesn't really match like my regrowth, I'm just gonna wrap it all the way around and kind of hide the bobby pins. The ponytail itself is going to go over the back of my head so you won't see where it's pinned. But you do want to be sure to cross them so that way the hair doesn't slip out in either direction. Now I'll take my smoothing cream once again and just put it on this piece here and make sure that's nice and smooth and there are no hairs out of place because this is like a super sleek look. And I'm also going to slick this part, slick the pony a little. Now what I'm going to do is take a section out of the ponytail from the bottom, just like about that big, probably about a one inch section. And I'm going to brush that out and smooth it. And then what I'm going to do is wrap it around the hair ties. And this is going to both give your ponytail height so it'll stick off of your head, but it's also just going to completely cover the hair ties. So then this look is really uniform and you can't see like the hair ties that don't match your outfit or don't match your hair or anything. Next, I'm going to take one more bobby pin and you can see I already opened it up and I'm just going to pin those hairs underneath and I'm going to stick the bobby pin inward into the hair ties like this, that direction. So now we're almost done, but not quite. This is where I'm going to smooth the rest of the pony and just make sure it looks really nice and sleek and pretty and also give it that nice rounded shape. I'm going to be using my T3 1.5 inch barrel curling iron. I'll link a few for you below. If you want this exact one, I'll link it, but I'll also link some other more affordable options. I want you guys to be able to, you know, not spend a ton, but still have a good big curling iron. And personally, I think this size is the best to get this look. I'm going to take the ponytail in sections, maybe like four or five sections. Depends on how thick your hair is. I just brushed that piece. I'm going to start at the top and start smoothing. You can probably also do this with a straightener, but I just really like it with this curling iron because it gets the end like perfectly round and it doesn't have a bend in it. So I'm going to curl it inward and let me move this piece and show you guys what it looks like, just like that. Now for the next section, I'll start smoothing it at the top. And I keep mine on like medium heat, about 350 degrees. I don't go too hot because I don't want to fry my hair. But you can see the look this is giving me. And I'm curving mine inward because that's how most of the people who've worn this style have worn it. Kind of more of like a curled inward thing, but I've also seen people do this where they flip it out and it looks super cute. So you can definitely flip it either way. So that was the one side of the ponytail. Now I'm gonna do this side. So I'm splitting mine into six sections because I did three sections on each side. And then you're going to do the same thing, but just on this side, you're going to turn the curling iron because you want to round it in like this again. Give it a little bump at the top, keep smoothing, round it. All right, so here's the finished look of the pony. <laughs> so sleek, so cute. Now, if you guys have hair on the thinner side or just want like a little more, maybe this volume isn't enough for you or the height isn't enough for you or it's just not perfect in some way, then you always have the option of using a ponytail. The one that I have and I would suggest is the insert name here. I hope you guys can see that. Insert name here, Bella Pony, cleverly named. My color might not match right now because you know, it's quarantine. I have, like I said, I haven't had a tone in a very long time. It's been like, what, 10 weeks or something crazy. So yeah, don't judge the color if it doesn't match. Oh, it's actually not that off. Okay, so it's not too bad. The color that I have is champagne blonde. So here's what it looks like, and it actually comes with two bobby pins. I'm gonna just take these off and brush her out. And the way that you insert it, it has this clip, and then this piece right here helps the ponytail to stand up taller. So what you wanna do is take the clip and you're gonna insert it up into the ponytail and push it upward. So then this piece of the Velcro is gonna like stay flat. And my ponytail's huge, so this ponytail doesn't wrap nearly around the whole thing. But on like a person with normal hair thickness, it'll definitely wrap around. So then you wanna Velcro that top piece, and it has this little piece of hair that you wrap around just like I did to my ponytail. And then it comes with these bobby pins, and you just stick them through the ponytail onto that piece of hair. I probably shouldn't have done it in the front. Let me move it so it's moved right there. 
And now you can see that when I put in the bony, it just looks like I have so much more hair. The height is a little taller. Here's what it looks like from the side. And this ponytail already comes in the shape that's going to kind of frame your face. So even if you didn't want to use the curling iron on your hair and you didn't want to shape it and you just kind of like wanted to put your hair in a little bun and do this exact same thing, you would still get the nice result. So if you saw me put on this ponytail and you're like, oh my God, that's so cute, I need it. Cause it really is like a completely adorable. You can use my coupon code Morella Bell to save on insert name here, 15% off. I feel so cute. Oh, I love it. So I know that using the ponytail, it doesn't look super different. And because it's like a pretty close match for my hair color, you can't really see. It's like the same exact length too. Look, here's my hair and here's the pony. It's like super close. But yeah, pretty much it just gives you that little bit of extra that you need to put the whole look together so nicely. And look at what it does to my eyebrows. Oh my God. I love this. <laughs> Now, if you need, you can add a little hairspray at the end and just kind of like make sure that everything's perfected and it's gonna stay perfectly in place. I'm not one of those people that needs everything to be like perfect and every little hair in place, but it's totally up to you. One thing that I probably will do that you guys can also do is if you have a piece of your hairline that's like not perfect, kind of like mine dips in right here, you can just take a brown eyeshadow or whatever color matches your hair. I'm just gonna take a really like cool brown because my hair is very cool toned and I'm going to just kind of like touch it up in there. Wow, that looks way warmer. I definitely chose a cool toned eyeshadow. All right, we're gonna choose a different one. So anyway, you can just put like a little bit of eyeshadow on your scalp in those areas. And cooler tones are probably better unless you're like a redhead because our hair also creates a bit of a shadow on our scalp and shadows are usually cool toned. So you just kind of want to take something that will give you like that illusion of a cool tone. It still looks warmer over camera, so <laughs> whatever, it's not that bad. You get the idea. <laughs> I tried. So yeah, that's pretty much all that you need to know in order to do this nice, sleek, cute ponytail. I love it. I think it's so flattering on everyone. If you guys have any questions, you can always comment below. Please subscribe to me if you like this video and if you haven't already. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.